Hi, this is Jamie from Stonemaier Games, and I'm here today to talk about my favorite game mechanism in the English Premier League. This is a little different than my other videos because I'm talking about uh, something that's not a board game. It's still a, a game, a game system, but the English Premier League is obviously a uh, system, a, a soccer league in, in England. Um, I love the EPL, and one of the things that I love the most about it is their relegation system and the system they have at, at the top. It's like the opposite of the, of the relegation system. In the EPL, the, uh, the top four teams, or your, all teams are trying to compete for the top four slots, which get them into the Champions League. And the bottom three teams at the end of the season are relegated to the next league down, which requires them to, I think they make less money, they have like maybe a lower salary cap, they're a little penalties that go into it, but for the most part it's just a loss of pride because they've been relegated down to the next level. Um, I love both sides of the system because it keeps all the teams engaged and competing throughout the year. The teams in the middle are trying to get up to the top and not fall down to the bottom. Every team at the bottom is trying to get out of that bottom three. And every team at the top is trying to, A, win the league, and B, maintain their status in the top four so they make it into the Champions League. And I've been thinking about whether or not this system can translate to a board game. I read a great post the other day from Seth Jaffe over on the League of Game Makers website about uh, things that you can do to keep, to keep losing players engaged. One of the things that he mentioned, one of my, my favorite points that he mentioned, was that you should, pro you should provide all players a puzzle to solve during the game and by puzzle I don't mean like a separate puzzle that only the losing players start to start to play but rather an ongoing puzzle that they have throughout the game that all players have to keep them engaged so all players are still even if they're not winning they're trying to optimize their strategy and feel clever it's basically it's a way for players to feel clever so I wanted to highlight that point it's a little different than the English Premier League but I wanted to see if there's any way in games, in the right game, where losing players or players who are, have fallen behind and don't think they have a chance at winning can still try to compete for something that matters the next time they play. Um, and one of the ideas I had, I, I'm always talking about legacy games, and I was thinking it could be uh, a way for losing players to compete for a bonus at the start of the next game. Um, it could be maybe maybe a, a, a small hand of cards that you you deal out at the beginning of the next game. Maybe maybe the, the bottom two players pick from the two cards at the bottom, um, or pick from two cards that maybe give them a bonus. And so the player in last place doesn't get to choose first, uh, but maybe the player in second to last place or third to last place, those are the players that get to choose. First, if they uh, which which are the bonuses they want. Um, so intuitively, I guess the the player in last place would get to choose first, which is the system that like uh, NFL in the U.S. In the U.S. football and U.S. Uh, basketball use, where the play the team in last place gets the best chance of picking uh, the first pick in the draft the following year which is kind of counterintuitive because at the end of the season it means that some of those teams are actually competing to lose. They're trying to lose rather than trying to win like in the English Premier League. So I was thinking in, in the game, the player, it wouldn't be the player in last place who would choose first or get the best bonus for the next game. It would be the player in second to last or third to last. Just a little relegation bracket. Um, I don't know. If, there are any, if you've seen any other games out there that do something like this, I'd love to hear about it. I think it's pretty rare that you play the exact same game with the exact same group twice in a row, but the chances of you playing the same game in the future with maybe maybe the bottom two players, I guess, are, could be a little higher. Um, so maybe it doesn't work as well to carry over from game to game in most games. Like, I, I wouldn't throw this in, say, Ticket to Ride, um, because who really cares if you if you lose Ticket to Ride. Like, you're still trying to compete and optimize and do well. And Ticket to Ride does other things to keep players engaged through the end. But for maybe a heavier game that you do play with the same group over and over again, it might be interesting to have a mechanism 
to keep to get those uh, those last place players still competing for something every game. Let me know your thoughts. If you've seen this in any other game, I'd love to hear your, your ideas. Thanks.